While rabbits come in all colors, shapes, and sizes, the appearance of a white rabbit with striking red eyes can often top them all. It's certainly a visual that you will not soon forget. In this video, we will discuss why rabbits with white fur have red or pink eyes, the condition responsible for such occurrences, if any health risks are involved, how red eyes can impact a rabbit's vision, and what it means if your rabbit is not of white fur, yet has red eyes. There's a lot to unpack within this topic and plenty of information to pass along. So, let's get started. Red eyes and white fur are the result of albinism. Lacking melanin in their eyes and fur, albino rabbits exhibit this unique appearance. Pigmentation is responsible for a rabbit's color. This includes both eye color and fur color. When melanin is absent, the result is a striking white fur coat and red, or in some cases, pink eyes. Albino rabbits aren't sick. Albinism is not a disease that can be acquired. It's not an illness. While red eyes could give novice owners the sense that something is wrong with their rabbit from a health standpoint, everything is just fine. The only caveat is that an albino bunny must be limited in terms of sun exposure. An albino skin can burn a bit faster compared to that of other rabbits. Additionally, albinos often have trouble looking into the sun. Bright lights, the sun, or otherwise, can make your rabbit a bit uncomfortable. This is why dimming the lights in your home is advised. It's also important to note that albino rabbits also have a different field of vision compared to other rabbits. Specific objects can be a bit blurry at first, until the rabbit is able to scan properly and lock in. The vision issue is caused by the lack of photoreceptors compared to that of other rabbits. Addressing eye color, it all comes down to the light being reflected from the pigments in the eye. Small and proper spaced melanin particles produce blue eyes. Larger melanin particles produce brown. However, it's in the absence of such particles that we find the beautiful and haunting red. When the iris reflects light directly from the blood vessels, the result is what you find in an albino rabbit. So, how special are these rabbits? Are they high in demand? You bet. In fact, albino rabbits are often so sought after that the albino gene has been intentionally bred into some breeds. And for your own future visual reference point, Remember these fun facts. No rabbit without the albino gene will have white fur. Alternatively, no rabbit with white fur is absent of this gene. Although any rabbit is capable of carrying the albino gene, some breeds are deliberately bred to have the dominant gene. The most common rabbits with the albino gene that are available to domestic owners are as follows. Himalayan rabbits, Californian rabbits, Angora giant rabbits, and lionhead rabbits. For details on each rabbit and what you can expect from not only a visual standpoint, but also texture and feel, please reference the section of our existing article under the same subheading as the transition used in this video. If you're watching this content from a different platform, please click the link provided in the description box unique to you and proceed accordingly. If your rabbit is not an albino and is showcasing red eyes, the medical condition known as hyperemia is potentially to blame. This ailment is also known as dry eye. Hyperemia is typically the byproduct of inflammation. Some triggers of hyperemia can include pink eye, glaucoma, bacterial and fungal infection, trauma to the eye, and overgrown tooth or overgrown teeth. This issue can place a harsh amount of pressure on the ocular socket. Hyperemia is often hallmarked by a variety of symptoms that go beyond the appearance of just red eyes. Some warning signs to be mindful of can include frequent tear production, fur loss around the eyes, Clumsiness, this is due to problematic vision, swelling of the eyelids, hunched posture, teeth grinding, and lethargy and or depression. As with any sign of illness, it's important to take your rabbit to the vet as soon as possible. Getting to the root cause is paramount, as a quick diagnosis will result in faster treatment. 
Vision loss can occur in some instances of hyperemia. This is why being proactive is so critical. From all of us here at rabbitcaretips.com, we hope you enjoyed this content and found it informative. We appreciate your interest in what we have to offer. And until our paths cross again, we wish you all the best, and we hope you have a wonderful day.